Hey, I'm Jeremy. Thanks for joining us today on Archer Universe. Today, we're going to talk about something that I get asked a lot, and that's how to judge yardage. What we're going to talk about today is ground judging. It's one of the easier methods to learn. It's something you can practice at home, and it's the first one I learned in 1989. In fact, it was the one I used the most for years. If you've been shooting known yardage, or if you're just getting started in 3D and would like to try the unknown yardage side, Come along with us. We're going to show you what to do to set up in your backyard to practice this. It's easy to practice. If you're willing to put the time in, you'll be surprised how efficient you can get at judging yards with this method. Alright, so we're here in my yard. You've seen me put the stakes out. And I told you we were going to practice ground judging yardage. I'm going to talk to you about how to do that. Now, I've got a, I'm at 30 yards. I've got a stake 10 yards from me, a stake 20 yards from me, and then the target. So I can judge, I can look at the 10 yard stake and I can pick 10 and then 20 and then 30. And what I'm doing in that, in that process is teaching myself what those distances look like. And so I can do that every time I shoot. I can pick 10, 20, 30, 40. And I don't mean every day when I shoot. I mean every shot when I shoot. I look at those, and the more repetition you get with that, the better you're going to get at it. You're going to get where you can pick 10, 20, and 30 yards every time. Now, for me, I don't shoot a 30-yard class, so I've got more stakes. I've got a 40 and a 50-yard stake back here. So if I'm shooting a 40-yard class, I'm going to spend a lot of my time at 40 yards. I'm going to stand at that 40-yard mark all the time. And I'm going to pick. I'm going to look at these stakes, and I'm going to go 10... 20, 30, 40 yards, and I'm going to learn what 40 yards looks like. As I learn what 40 yards looks like, and I get really good at that, at picking 40 yards. When I go to a tournament and I, I judge 10, 20, 30, 40 yards, I can find a 40-yard target easily, and I judge 10, 20, 30, 40 every time. And if I get to my target and 40 is past the target, okay, I know he's less than 40. What if I judge 10, 20, 30, 40, he's less than 40, but he's more than 30? So now that I've got a reference, okay, is he, is he more than halfway? Is he halfway? If he's halfway between 30 and 40, okay, that's 35. If he's more than halfway, is he closer to 35 or closer to 40? You can get a serious a system of elimination there where you can pick. Okay, he's closer to 40 than he is to 35. Okay, is he right at 40 with 39, or is he just not quite 40? Maybe he's 38. So you can do a system elimination, you can dial it down, let's just say you pick 38 yards. Well, if you're shooting ASA, all the targets have a 5 inch 10 ring. So if you're in a 40 yard class and you've got a target you feel like is 38 yards, and you dial your sight to 38, if you're smart and shoot a center 10, well, a 5 inch target, 5 inch 10 ring, if he's 36 yards, you're still going to catch the top of the 10 ring. If he's 40 yards, you're most likely still going to catch the bottom of the 10 ring if you held center and made a good shot. So you've got a four yard range there at that distance that you can stay inside the 10 ring. So this system works. It's not the only, dist only way to judge yards. There are many ways, like I said earlier, to judge yardage. This is an easy one to learn. And it's actually an easy one to get very proficient at if you practice it. And it's something you can practice at home easily. Uh, I used one by two, cut those off and drove them in the ground. It's easy to buy PVC, drive it in the ground. Whatever you want, find something to get you a reference so that when you stand at that stake, now you can look out there and see where 10, 20, and 30 yards is. Spend some time judging. Every time you go out and shoot, if you're wanting to judge yardage, stand there and judge that on the ground. Learn what the ground looks like. If you get good at judging on the ground, you can pick up some other ways to do a few things too. And we'll talk about more of those as time comes. So if you like this kind of content, comment down below and let me know. If you don't like this kind of content, comment down below and let me know. Let me know what you do want to hear. My goal is to give you good quality content to help make you a better archer. God bless and shoot straight.